Hi, my name is Hitesh and you are watching Metasploit Extreme on Kali Linux. And don't forget to drop me an email or at least visit my website. In this module, we are going to have a look on something that is known as vulnerability scanning. Many times when testers after spending their time about information gathering and all these stuffs, want to spend their time to actually uh, scan those particular services which are vulnerable or to scan those ports which are already being opened up. So in this video, we will check one of those particular vulnerability, vulnerability, which is SMB login check scanner. Now, suppose you have got a couple of username and password while sniffing out the data over the entire network. Now you want to check out what, with those particular credential that you might want to able to log in in which particular services. And SMB is one important services. If you get access to it, you are really going to get a much amount paid for it. So while checking out the SMB scanner with your by default uh, user ID and password, which you have already got uh, while scanning the network or doing some other things. So make sure that you to keep two things always and always in your mind. The first of all is it will connect to a range of particular host and determine if the username and password combination that you have already got can access the target or not. So you can uh, check for the number of hosts or you can also check for it a particular one host as well. And the second and very much important is it is very loud attack because the failed login attempt will be always and always are going to be showed in your uh, windows on your Linux or anything out there. So make sure you are very, very precise while doing this. So let's check out how to do SMB login check scanner while pen testing. For it, I'll be using my Metasploit Linux uh, Metasploitable 2 up and running out here on this machine. And I have got my Kali Linux up and running here with MSF console. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'll simply uh, use this scanner that is auxiliary scanner SMB slash SMB login uh, scanner. Now, again, I don't know what are the things to be filled up. So I'll use my favorite option that says uh, show options. Okay, so here we have got a few things that says SMB pass, that is SMB password, SMB user. Also, if you wish, you can fill the domain as well. And here is the our hosts value. So let's fill up everything one by one. So first of all, we need to fill the our host value. It can be in the range or it can be a one IP as well. So in case you want to fill the range, you can fill it like this slash 24. You want to fill out one IP address, you can fill it in this way. So for our condition, let's fill it in just one and let's just run and check out. Make sure you understand that for a pen tester, it is very important to understand that it is not always and always going to be a success. So hit every dead end. And I'm quite sure in this case, we are going to hit a dead end because uh, I'm not having this user ID and password for my SMB login. Although I can set, uh, SMB user as let's say Hitesh, which is not there out here. And I can set my SMB password as let's say secret. Okay, so when I'll quickly run this script, uh, it's definitely going to fail me the attempts, but this is the video only about how to show you actually once you have got the credential, how you can utilize them. Now make sure do one thing. You also perform this same attack with the windows machine and report me back in the forum or question answer, or also drop me an email about it. What do you have got in that? So this series is quite different as compared to other series where you always and always get success in some of this, my videos, you are also going to hit the dead end and that's actually going to teach you how real pen testing works. So thank you so much for watching this video and let's check out what's there next in the next video for you. Thank you so much.